my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is Danica definitely make sure you are subscribed um, today on my channel I have a live update for you guys a long 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 overdue live update <laughs> I put a poll up on my Instagram yesterday asking you guys some questions for this video so that I can answer them right now so if you're interested in getting the tea <laughs> then keep on watching if you notice me looking in this direction it's because i'm reading off the questions from my laptop i'm filming with my phone like i always do first one says you've been relatively mia for a bit how are you juggling school and content creation um i wouldn't say i'm necessarily juggling i just feel like i have made it a priority just to focus on my schoolwork first because i have tend to not do so in the past hence why it took so long for me to finish uni i think also certain things were out of my control like covid and stuff but yeah i do feel like it was my focus and just things that i could have done more put in more effort you know just worked more overall and now you know i just decided to focus more on my schoolwork and i wouldn't even say like i've been quiet because if you follow me or if you've been following my content since day one you would know that i literally can go ghost guys like i cannot post for like months and not be bothered like there was a time last year i think i went like ghost for like what eight months or something like that before i got my phone so i would just I would say that I've been doing a good job in my opinion just because I'm comparing it to myself <sighs> and juggling I really want to be able to juggle content creation better in future though I do feel like that's something that I need to time manage better or just find a way around it because that's something that's very important to me okay question two is is this your final year of studies um yes it was <laughs> yes it was i haven't gotten my results yet but i believe it was you know i've been in my final year for the last three years now yeah that's kind of the truth and i just hope that this time i did able i was able to clear the module that i had left i don't feel like i failed but yeah that brings me to the third question how was exam um it was good it was good it went the best way possible i could say i was thoroughly like prepared for that exam if you haven't watched my study vlog you should check it out i think the link would be this side yeah it'll be this side <laughs> you should click it and you should watch it if you haven't already question number four is hi hope you are well how long did it take you to complete accounting studies like I said, I've been in my final year for the last three years. My course at UNAM is only three years. So I took in total six years for me to complete. My name is swimming, guys, and I'm sub -awelling. Anyway. <laughs> It took me a total of six years for me to complete my course. It's a three-year course at UNAM. It's the honors of... Chattered, no, orders of accounting, chattered accountancy. That's the one I did. Plans after uni, yo, I definitely want to start working. I, I think I mentioned this in my get to know me tag that I really wanted to get a job. I think I said I wanted to get a part time job if I'm not mistaken, and I wasn't able to do that this year. I also just decided, like, let me just enjoy my final years as a student. Let me not end it prematurely. That's just what I decided to do, and I felt like that was best for me. And besides getting a job, besides getting a job, what else do I want to do? definitely want to travel definitely want to change my wardrobe change my style i want to give you guys more con like fashion content i can't do that right now because i do not have the money i don't have the funds so i think as a, when i get my job and yeah i really want to just focus on getting a job next year like that's number one on my list and apart from that yeah child i'm not sure <laughs> yeah i have like a secret but i don't want to share it with you guys yet because i will reveal it in the next video i think i think it's the next video i'll reveal it and i've been trying my best to keep this one a secret like i've been trying my best not to spoil it in every video and there were times where i'd catch myself saying it in a video and i'm like why did you say it and then i have to cut it out <laughs> 
anyway i'll tell you guys um as soon as i feel comfortable sharing it with you guys question number six is how has your mental health been um i really don't know right now i feel like it's very 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 low and i'm really on a survival mode right now i don't think i'm in a good space there's certain times in my day where i just feel like yo i really need therapy i'm not gonna lie if i could afford therapy like that i would go for it honestly i'd be really seeing somebody and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i don't feel like I'm in a space right now where I can say that I'm in the best space. I was in the best space before, definitely some point in this year, probably in the beginning. I feel like my space, my headspace is usually the best in the beginning. And then as the year goes by, I just, I just, it just goes lower and lower and lower. So with that being said, um, I would say out of 10, I would probably say a five. And some days it's like really a four yeah and i'm not trying to exaggerate or anything but i'm just trying to be as transparent as possible and yeah especially after my exams i just feel super super tired like i feel exhausted to do anything I with that being said I, would, I just want to say out of 10 out of 10 on a normal day i'm a five on oh, no, a no, good day i'm a six yeah question number seven is i think question number seven is basically like question number six which is how are you doing really and how are you doing mentally so i already answered that question but how am i doing really Ugh, dudes there's just like right now i wish i could push like a fast forward button in this piece of my life like if i could choose to press a fast forward button you know like zzz, zzz. <laughs> you know when you watch a movie and you skip or like you would watch this video and you would skip <laughs> I just need a fast forward button for real like i just want to fast forward to at least december i don't know i don't know what time in december or like there's something i'm waiting for it to happen and it's just not happening no matter how long i'm waiting and that's something that i've told you guys it's a secret and i'm trying to really move in silence here and i just really want a fast forward button and i feel like until that happens i'm not gonna be happy so every single day is just like a drag i feel like i'm constantly waiting for something or it just feels like i'm very stagnant so yeah like i said i'm a five guys i'm a five a five out of ten <laughs> number eight is anything we we should look forward to like i said like i said <sighs> i can't wait till i tell you guys i can't wait till i tell you guys anyway she actually just went a little bit longer i'm sorry number nine is what's the best part about youtube for you um i love this question so much thank you for asking it by the way i believe this is my sister shout out to my sister you guys should um subscribe to her channel she has so much content for you guys that's coming i know she doesn't know yet but i know she's gonna do it anyway um ah what's the best part about youtube for me is like when i started youtube there's just something in me that said like i wanted a youtube channel like nobody approached me like oh my gosh you should start a youtube channel like nobody nobody told me that i just decided i'm gonna start a youtube channel and i want to connect with people because for me i do currently live with my aunt them and i don't go out and i don't have a social life in my opinion so i mean it has gotten better but for the most part i did not have and um but that being said youtube was a way for me to connect with people try to like you know yeah for me number one was connecting with people and for me the best part about youtube is that i can literally tell my story how i want to tell it and i love the fact that you guys like really enjoy my vibe like it's the most compliment in the world like actually it's the biggest compliment in the world the fact that you guys enjoy my vibe the fact that when i talk to you guys and the thing is y'all really like my sit down videos which is so cool because i'm literally like sitting down right in front of you and like i'm trying to have a conversation with you i don't know i love that and i'm growing such a big love for it and i'm literally obsessed like becoming a youtuber i even found myself watching more youtube videos from other youtubers because i also want to know like oh my gosh what's going on in your life sis <laughs> But yeah, with that being said, one of the best parts for YouTube, I need to decide. I don't know yet, child. Um, whenever you guys even comment on my videos, and especially when you guys tell me that you guys, sorry, as soon as when, especially when you guys tell me that I'm your favorite Namibian YouTuber, or some of you guys give me that compliment, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is actually real. Someone told me that. 
i don't know it means so so much to me guys like i don't know and i generally just enjoy talking to you guys and it's super fun for me and i've always kind of seen myself doing this and i can't wait to see where or how far my channel will grow and yeah i've rambled i've rambled i don't i rambled a little bit i didn't want to ramble but yeah next one is how's your youtube journey been so far i think i've already spoken about that okay how is your youtube journey been so far and what advice would you give someone that recently started okay so i'm gonna stick to the advice part here let me just talk about my journey when i started youtube was like um at the end of yeah december 2020 30 something i remember i posted it the, the day before um new year's um that was the first time i posted my video my first video and i was like super nervous at the at that point because i didn't tell anyone even i didn't tell the guy i was seeing like i want to be a youtuber i'm gonna start posting on youtube or anything i just said like i'm just gonna do it and stuff so yeah basically just started with like everyone else like with one subscriber and i built it up from there once i in the beginning of this year i wasn't really consistent in 2021 i think i posted about three videos and then my third video really did really good that was my unboxing video i was like what i can take this youtube story seriously i think it has now like i don't know i don't know how many views it has now but and that one did really really good and i was really like wow i can't believe i did that i can't believe i did that and then once i did that i said i'm gonna take it seriously in 2022 this year yeah so I, <laughs> in the beginning of this year i had about like 300 subscribers and i just grew it from there and like look where i am now and i couldn't have done it without you guys so thank you so much oh my god thank you guys so much i couldn't have done it without you guys honestly and i just genuinely genuinely appreciate all like all the support that you guys have given me like can't wait to see where we're gonna go together guys like oh my gosh <laughs> i get so excited when i think about my subscribers you guys make me so happy oh my gosh there's a bee in my room oh like a wasp Okay, I'm just gonna act like I don't know it's there. Okay, next question. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And what advice I can give for someone that's starting out YouTube is just... Um, just know what you want to do. Because for me, I, I, I used to get a lot of questions of like... What's your um, channel about? Like, what's your channel about? And I genuinely just did not know the answer to that question. I just did whatever came easy for me. Like, if I felt like, oh my gosh, I can do this video, I did it. And then I see how well it did. And I would also, like, take you guys' critiques. Some of you guys really used to give me some good critiques. And I would, like, um, apply that. So, with that being said, listen to your audience. And also do what comes easy to you. Like if you can see like someone else doing something else then it it has a lot of engagement like it's having a lot of views it's having a lot of likes but that's not something that you can do um just focus on something that you can do like focus on something that comes easy to you so that you can like express your personality to the best capable extent because i feel like once you guys really got to see my personality and once i was actually talking to the camera that's when i started getting a lot of subscribers so the number one thing i also used to tell my sister is just suck like in the beginning you just have to suck you know you just have to go through that stage of learning how to do things learning like oh i, sh I could have done this instead noticing the different decisions that you could have done so for me i still do that till today like i would look at a video like oh i didn't do that and with that being said that's how you learn like that's how you adjust your style i feel like i have a um, unique kind of spin that i'm trying to do on youtube it's inspiration that i've gotten from other people that i've just combined into mine and i just don't have like one person that i'm trying to mimic i have so many people that i watch that i try to mimic so with that being said tell your story the way you want to tell it suck um suck it first don't suck forever suck it first like you have to just suck and then from there um and also learn how to do things on your own for me i do everything for my own i do editing on my own i do who the be from the idea of a video to when i'm publishing it it was i do everything by myself unless i ask someone like no can you take this part of the video for me like it's just like let's say 10 seconds and then they'll film it for me 
but other than that i do everything on my own literally and with that it has given me so much independence i am able to like learn from me and be able to make mistakes you know and if you're gonna make a mistake make make it quickly oh, i i don't know why i like talking a lot <laughs> the pee guys oh, i don't know if you guys can see it um so in conclusion that's just what i want to say in conclusion is suck um know how to tell your own story do what comes easiest to you and listen to your audience number 11 is oh my gosh this question y'all <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna answer this question. I'm gonna answer this question because I got a lot of this question, but I like how she asked it. Are you are you still dating Mr. Handsome or you broke up? And if no, when is the wedding? Okay, I really love this question. <laughs> um yeah, no, me and Mr. Handsome are not together anymore yeah it actually happened quite recently and um i'm still basically healing and stuff but i don't know it's crazy i just wish that things could have been different for us that's it that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say okay how has school been and are you excited for the next chapter after university yes 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 i am i'm super excited for the next chapter like i said i just want to press fast forward but um how has school been i try to be really transparent with you guys in terms of how school it's been good school has been good i just wish that i didn't take as long and um i just wish that i was probably more focused at some points but yeah, you know, you live and you learn and it's like a life lesson that I can just take on with me. Number 13 is, if you have been in such a place, what are your coping mechanisms when you are just having a lot of bad days? Um, my bad days consist of me feeling very lost, confused, unmotivated, unproductive, sad, and lost on top of that. Like... When I'm lost there and I'm confused and I just don't know what my next move is and I just don't know what to do, that for me is a bad day. That for me is like one of my worst days actually. Um, so with that being said, I pray. I first of all pray and I pray child. Like I am crying on my knees, pray. I pray for guidance, I pray for direction. I pray for, you know, Lord, I don't know what to do right now. This is messing me over this time of my life, whatever I'm going through. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to use my days. I don't know how to use my days. I don't know how to, you know, basically I'm lost completely i have no direction and i pray for direction i pray for the woman i need, want to become i've even written down like the qualities that she has so i pray for that i pray for on every attribute i pray for it and i pray and i pray and i pray guys i pray and then on top of that once i'm done praying then i'm like okay i will just write down the things i want the things that i want okay cool these are the things that you want from your heart's desires how and then from there i decide like how what do i need to do for me to obtain those things that i want how do i get those things and then i draw up a plan to get there that's basically how i cope with it and on that day when i plan everything out then i'm like okay cool now we're gonna sleep and the next day we're gonna do everything on our on our um plan which is either working out i start small like i just work out because i know i want my body to look a certain type of way right so i work out and then i you know whatever is on the list it would whether that be studying because i was studying this year whether that be reading more books or just obtaining a new goal or skill that i feel like i'm interested in that will take me to a certain place stuff like that just trying to stay as productive as possible and then the more productive days i have the more direction i'm beginning to have the more ideas i'm starting to realize that i'm that, that is coming to me basically that's how it is that's how basically my recovery that's what i do right now but i like i said i do feel like i need therapy yeah question number 14 is first of all i'm a whole fan and i love you oh i love you too i love you so much thank you and 
where are you gonna travel for the holidays oh um right now i really don't have plans guys i don't have plans i don't have plans can you guys like comment down for me like what you guys plan on doing for the holidays because for me i don't have any plans whatsoever i feel out of all the times in december i usually have an idea like oh no i'm probably gonna go to the farm or i know i'm probably gonna go to the coast or whatever i really don't know right now um but i'll let you guys know as soon as i figure that out i'll vlog guys i'll be vlogging so whatever i'm doing y'all are gonna see it anyway so <laughs> um and okay the last question is it's the end of the year if you could reflect on some highlights of the year i love this question so much thank you um number one okay the top highlight of my list is number one working with a marketing company basically they do advertisements for businesses and i was in an ad for both month this year even though just just on their whatsapp i mean not my whatsapp instagram page i can check it out or y'all can check it out on my page like I, I have a highlight on it like that was one of my biggest things that i've done this year i just felt like oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't know, I was so happy and I was so honored to be able to work with Burman. Another thing that comes to mind is, you know, meeting you guys. Oh my gosh, I feel like the most times when I see you guys is on campus. Like, I would go to school and then you'd be like, oh no, I watch your YouTube channel. And, or like, you know, you guys would approach me um, and say like, no, I watch your YouTube channel. And, and you guys would like either give me a compliment or you know you ended up there and i would just feel like that was like the sweetest sweetest thing and all the times that you guys have ever approached me like i can remember so please don't ever hesitate to come approach me guys like i want to give you guys a hug i definitely want to give you guys a hug i was even thinking that i wanted to take selfies with you guys so i know this might sound crazy right but i really want to like show my appreciation so i was thinking i want to start like um either like an album or like yeah i think an album of where i keep pictures of my subscribers i thought that would be cool because i feel like in namibia we're not that many so i'll make it a point at the next time or whoever wants to approach me you know you know you can approach me and then we'll take a selfie together and then i'll print it for my album that's something i was thinking of i definitely want a uh, album of my subscribers especially for those that really want this i don't know if you guys are interested this is just something that i wanted to do um let me know down in the comments what you guys think and also i don't know if you guys might be interested in like you know those cool little family names that people also have on their channels i don't have one because i just love everyone like i just want everyone just to i don't know i just don't have one okay i never thought of having one for my channel i didn't think i was gonna grow this big so soon so i don't know if um y'all if you guys are interested in that let me know also and also give me suggestions of what we could be i don't know i don't know i don't know okay is that all is that all the highlights i wanted to say oh my gosh oh yeah i wanted to um, do an end of year q a so i will leave a few more that i want to mention in another video i hope that's okay with you guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up of course subscribe and put on my post notifications so you'll be notified every single time i upload a video i love you guys so much i love you guys so so much and i'm so sorry for abandoning you guys just know that i am back and i'm gonna try to be as consistent yeah don't don't quote me on that though <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video